In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can extract monthly data usage for your My Energy devices. If, like me, you like knowing exactly how much data your devices are using, you probably find this existing dashboard quite frustrating. Whilst you can export to CSV, it's limited to last month, and it doesn't give you a breakdown of how much came from solar and how much came from the grid. So I've spent some time digging into the application and I've managed to write a Python script that you can run that will extract the data on a month by month basis and present it to you in a CSV file. And I'm going to give you a quick demo of that now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab my Python script from GitHub. So I've made this available in the energy and smart home utilities um, repository. I'll include a link to that in the description. Uh, the Python script itself lives under the My Energy folder, and you can download it from there and just pull that script down onto your machine. If you don't know anything about Python, there's plenty of tutorials available that will tell you how to install it and how to run it. If you do need any help, you know, drop drop me a message in the comments, and I'll do my best to get you up and running. So once you've downloaded that into a folder, like I have here. In my energy, you'll just have a fetch.py script. Now we can't run that straight away. We need to get your credentials from my energy. Now I don't have a way of accessing your credentials, and nor do I want access to your credentials. So what we need to do is use the development tools of your browser to grab the access token from one of the requests. This sounds a bit daunting, but it's hopefully straightforward. So the first thing you do is go to your menu and probably if you're using Chrome or Chromium Edge, you'll have more tools. Uh, and under there, we're looking for something called developer tools. This is also available on Safari. If you're on a Mac, uh, either if you're using Chrome, it's in the same place. But if you're using Safari, there's like a JavaScript console and a developer tools under there too. So once you've got that opened, a little panel will appear probably at the bottom of your screen. And what you're looking for is something called the network tab. So what we'll do is simply change this drop down to something else. So if we choose last week, and you'll see a request should appear something along the lines of devices of hub data hourly. So we want to click on that. And that will bring up uh, details of the request that it's made. And in here, if you scroll down, you'll see there's an authorization section. And what we're looking for is this big blurb of text that appears after the word bearer. So what you're going to want to do is select on that with your mouse, and make sure you've got it all highlighted, and then just copy it into your clipboard. This is my token. I, I'm not too worried because this token will expire. So by the time the video goes live, this token will no longer be valid. Once you've got that, if you then open a terminal window, that'll you know, or a command utility on Windows, um, you'll you'll have your script inside here. So what we want to do is we want to run. So we'll use Python. We do fetch.py, and then we put in the the year and the month, and then we just paste. We just paste in the token and we just press enter. And what that script will do is search through looking for your devices within your account. So it should then find all of the devices that you've got. I've blurred out the serial numbers on mine just for my own privacy, but that's found my Zappy and it's found my Eddie. And in the background now, it'll be downloading the data. And there we go. So that's spat that out now. And it just gives me a quick summary, which shows me how much for my Zappy there was 81 kilowatt hours of boosted, 29 kilowatt hours of diverted, and it's generated a CSV file. It's done the same for the Eddy, producing a CSV file for the month of July. So if I go back to my folder and I open one of these, let's just take the Zappy. We'll let that open in Excel. 
it's basically got my 31 days in the month. The first column is the boosted, so that's grid-based power. And you can see that on the 13th and 14th, I diverted, you know, on the 14th, I diverted 40 kilowatts. So that would have been me charging the car uh, overnight. Um, and you can also see at a pretty good month on this pretty good day on the 7th, where it diverted excess solar 10 kilowatt hours uh, into the car. So this is very useful. You can generate a graph from this. Um, you know, you can select the data. You can go to insert. I'm just using Excel here. Uh, you can select the 2D chart, and then we can edit that data. If we select data, and we just turn off series one, and then that will give us a nice little chart where we can compare diverted and boosted, uh, and you can play around with that whatever way you want. Um, yeah. So that, yeah, that's it, not, not much to it. Um, I said it was gonna be a quick video, and it was a quick video. Um, if you have any questions about this, you'd like a bit more information, please use the comments. I'll put links to the repository uh, in the description and you can, you can go from there. Um, that's it. Hopefully you found that easy to follow. If you do want to use the script, but you're unsure of anything at all, uh, please leave a question in the comments and I will do my very best to get you up and running. If you do get the script working, um, I'd love your feedback, so please, please let me know in the comments uh, how it's working, if it's working, if there's any problems. As ever, if you liked this video, please press the like button, and if you like this sort of thing, yeah, please do think about subscribing. I'm Tom. Thanks for watching.